Hello everyone, welcome to my new lesson video. This is the part 2 of my discussion about chemical reactions. I will be discussing the double replacement or also known as exchange. I am your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. Double replacement reaction or exchange is a type of chemical reaction where two compounds react to form two new compounds. Let's say Compound AB will react with compound CD. This will form two new compounds, the products compound AD and compound CB. For example, the first element of first compound, which is A, will combine with the second element or the polyatomic anion of the second compound, while the first element of the second compound, which is C, will combine with the second element or polyatomic anion of first compound. That is why the name of this reaction is double replacement or exchange. It's like having an exchange of partners. Let's say silver nitrate will react with sodium chloride. Silver nitrate is formed by the combination of silver and polyatomic anion nitrate, while sodium is formed by the combination of sodium and anion chloride. So in this situation, the silver will combine with the chloride and the sodium will combine with the polyatomic anion nitrate. So our product for this reaction or products will be the silver chloride and the sodium nitrate. This is how we predict the products of our double replacement reaction. So for the reaction of silver nitrate and sodium chloride, the products are silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Another example of double replacement reaction or exchange is the reaction between sodium sulfate and strontium chloride. Our first compound sodium sulfate is formed by the combination of our cation sodium and a polyatomic anion sulfate, while our second compound strontium chloride is formed by the combination of cation strontium and an anion chloride. Sodium now will combine with the second element of the second compound chloride so the combination will form a compound called sodium chloride while the first element of the second compound which is strontium will combine with the polyatomic anion of the first compound sulfate so they will form strontium sulfate this two compounds will now be the products of our double replacement reaction. So, in the reaction of sodium sulfate and strontium chloride, it will produce two products, sodium chloride and strontium sulfate. Take note that this reaction is not yet balanced. There is a special type of double replacement reaction which is called neutralization. Neutralization is a reaction between an acid and a base that produces salt and water. So if we combine acid and base, they will form the two products, the salt and water. For example, hydrochloric acid will react with sodium hydroxide. The procedure is just the same. Hydrochloric acid is formed by the combination of hydrogen and the anion chloride, while the sodium hydroxide is formed by the combination of sodium and a polyatomic anion hydroxide. So in this case, hydrogen will combine with the polyatomic anion hydroxide to form water, while sodium will combine with the anion chloride. So this will be the two products of the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Our salt is the sodium chloride and 
H2O, the water. Another example of neutralization reaction is the reaction of hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide. Hydrochloric acid is formed by the combination of hydrogen and chloride, while magnesium hydroxide is formed by the combination of cation magnesium and polyatomic anion hydroxide. So in this case, hydrogen will combine with hydroxide, while magnesium will combine with the chloride. The combination of magnesium and chloride will form magnesium chloride, which will be the salt. And the combination of hydrogen and hydroxide will form H2O or the water. These are the two products that will form in the reaction between the hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide. The magnesium chloride as our salt and H2O, the water. Let us now balance the chemical reaction between the hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide that produces magnesium chloride and water. So these are the number of elements in the reactant side, and these are the number of elements in the product side. As you can see here, there are three elements that are not balanced. The hydrogen, the chlorine, as well as the oxygen. First, we put two for hydrogen, hydrochloric acid so that our hydrogen in the reactant side will have a total of four. And since there are four hydrogen in the reactant side, we simply multiply by 2 to our water. So, our hydrogen now will become 4 on the product side and it is now balanced. Also, by adding 2 to the hydrochloric acid, the number of chlorine becomes 2 at the reactant side. So, it is now balanced with the 2 chlorine in the product side. And also, by putting 2 to the water, it also affects the number of oxygen. There are now 2 oxygen in the product side, which is now equal or the same with the number of oxygen at the, react at the reactant side. So this is now the balanced chemical equation of the reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide. And for our last example for the double replacement reaction and neutralization, we have the reaction between the sulfuric acid and magnesium hydroxide. Sulfuric acid is formed by the combination of hydrogen and the polyatomic anion sulfate, while magnesium hydroxide is formed by the combination of magnesium and hydroxide. And so, hydrogen will combine with hydroxide and the cation magnesium will combine with the polyatomic anion sulfate. And so, magnesium and sulfate will form a compound called magnesium sulfate. This will be the salt in our product. And hydrogen and hydroxide will form the H2O or water. So for the reaction between the sulfuric acid and magnesium hydroxide, the products will be magnesium sulfate, which is our salt, and H2O as our water. And then lastly, to balance this chemical equation, we simply put 2 to the water. So this is now the balanced chemical reaction of sulfuric acid and magnesium hydroxide. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new in chemistry about chemical reaction, particularly about double replacement reaction or exchange. See you again next time and God bless.